Welcome to MinuteMed. In this video, we will speak about stable angina, which is one of the most common types of chest pains in the world. Stable angina refers to the type of angina resulting from the myocardial ischemia due to a fixed atherosclerosis plaque of one or more coronary arteries. This condition is known as coronary artery disease. If you haven't checked out our video on coronary atherosclerosis, please click here. Usually, most of these lesions are asymptomatic, but when a lesion results in 70% of the stenosis, it becomes clinically significant, which means if it covers 70% of the lumen, that's when you start getting symptoms. This leads to the heart being ischemic. There is an ischemia-induced release of adenosine, bradykinin, and other molecules that stimulate the autonomic nerves, which leads to a chest pain. So what are the typical symptoms of stable angina? Number one, retrosternal, blunt, dull chest pain. Number two, the pain is provoked by physical exertion or emotional stress. Number three, this pain is relieved by rest or on short acting nitroglycerin within less than five to 10 minutes. Another thing to note is if all three of the above symptoms are present, it is definitely angina. But if only one of these is present, it's highly likely to be a non-cardiac chest pain. Other symptoms of stable angina could be dyspnea, which is shortness of breath, and diaphoresis, which is sweating. So what are the risk factors of stable angina? If you have a high blood pressure, and if there is a skin condition which can lead to certain fat deposits beneath the skin like xanthoma and lipoma, diabetic retinopathy and if you have a higher BMI value which is greater than 25. These are the risk factors of stable angina.